Okay, I'm going to start a series on electric furnaces. Now, what I've got here is a heat strip out of an electric furnace. And we'll do a little quick uh, look at all the different parts on this thing. There's your elements. There's two elements in this thing. They usually are five kilowatt elements. And that's what these are here. There's a Normally this is uh, installed into an air handler and a fan blows across those things. And we'll discuss the elements, you know, and how they work and problems with them and stuff uh, a little later. Okay, inside here we've got terminals. Uh, for hookup we've got limit switches here. And the limit switches, if you look here, you'll see they're actually in there with the elements, so the elements, if for some reason they overheated, then uh, they would shut off. Now, get transformer to give us 24 volts, and probably the biggest problem in these things is this part right here. This is a sequencer. This turns on the elements when there's a call for heat. Okay, right there is a fan relay. The fan relay is not actually needed for the uh, furnace to operate. Uh, they're usually put in there so that you can run the fan if you have air conditioning or something like that. Okay, that's the breaker. Now there could be, they're double breakers because it's 240 volts. There could be any number of these in here. There could be two, three, four, depending on how many elements you have. This one has two elements, so it'll be 10 kW. And up here, we have a terminal board where you can hook your thermostat up. If this were the simplest of any, you'd have the thermostat. One would be hooked to R and one would be hooked to uh, uh, W1 right there, and when the thermostat closed, it would start the heater in that sequencer. The heater's down here, there's two terminals, one on either side. It warms up, turns on two elements, this is called a two stack uh, sequencer, and it'll turn this one on first, usually, and then it'll turn the second one on. Uh, 10 to 20 seconds later. The reason they set them up that way is when electric furnaces first came out, the transformers used uh, in most residences, uh, the pole transformers, really were not big enough to have uh, large electric uh, furnaces on them. And they would kind of brown out if you turned, out all, turned on all the elements at the same time. So they came up with sequencers, and that's what that is. It turns one on, and then it turns another one after the transformers had a chance to catch up. They're really, I don't know that they're needed anymore. Uh, I never liked sequencers much. They were always kind of a problem. Uh, see, I cut my teeth on electric furnaces uh, for three or four years when I was first in this business, that's all I worked on. I didn't work on anything but electric furnaces, heat pumps, and air conditioners. So I got to know every electric furnace out there, and I got pretty proficient at the things. So uh, I, got, I got to where I hated these silly things. Anyway, uh, they will sequence on. What they do is the, when the first element comes on, it also it has a fan circuit in it to turn the fan on with the first element. Sequence is on, then when the thermostat shuts off, this heater down here starts to cool down, and then the uh, one element will go off, and then the other element and the fan will go off. That's really the whole sequence of these things. They are not as easy to work on as you might think, but they're actually very simple. We've got a wiring diagram on this thing. It's a 
it's pretty simple wiring diagram because the the furnace itself is very simple uh, but I'll have a series of these things and we'll go over each part and we'll talk about the problems we have with electric furnaces and how to fix them.